up in the air. There he goes. Wow, what a magnificent toss. Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner. Now, I've actually been on holiday this week, but because I don't want you lot to go without some glorious virtual reality content here on Eurogamer's YouTube channel, I have prepped this episode for you beforehand. So don't forget to like and or subscribe, preferably both for Ian's VR Corner videos every Sunday. Oh yeah, even when I'm off. Now today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Underdogs for you. Underdogs is a first person mech brawler game that came out this week on PC VR and Quest. But more specifically, Quest 2 and Quest 3. Poor old Quest 1 doesn't get a look in anymore, does it? Wop, wop. So I've run through the tutorial for underdogs. I know how to fist my foes and beat off robots. So uh, I'm going to jump straight into a new game. Uh, before I do, though, this game, I think, is technically meant to be played standing up, but I went through the tutorial sitting down fine. There's a lot of arm swinging around, so make sure I'm sat really far back from my table, so hopefully I won't punch it. You'll hear me scream if I do. Now, all the cutscenes, just like this one, are, you know, gently animated. Kind of like a cool comic book in motion, almost. The kill box. That's what I call my bum hole. All righty, here I am. I am in the cockpit of my mech. This mech is called a gorilla. As you can see, the mech's arms perfectly mirror the motion of my arms, so I can... Yeah, up yours. And then I can use my fists and my arm swings to beat these robots into submission. And as you might see here, movement, at least for this mech, this is the only mech I've tried. This mech, because he's called the gorilla, you see, you drag him along and move him along with your arms by grabbing the floor and then propelling yourself along. Now you can punch straight punches like so you can do big swings to do big damage you can pummel things and you can also smash into things by dashing at them um, at an appropriate speed there you see i smashed that one up against well let's try a big whack on this thing this is why you got to be careful of walls and tables when you play this game because everything about this game is swinging your arms quite violently Ah, bonk. A good old one, two, left, right. There you go. So you can do standard boxing punches if you want. Nice and quick. I don't think there's much point protecting my face, though. Bang, bang. Smacked one of those raptors out of the air, but the other one got me right in the cockpit. I just, I, I dashed underneath that one that was jumping. Okay, we've killed one. I got smooth turn turned on there, but you can have snap turn as well. Oh, I like that. And yes, this is uh, on the more physical side, really, of VR games, because it was all about punching, a lot of upper body movement. But because I'm playing seated, and to be fair, this is very comfortable to play seated, because I'm playing seated, probably not as extreme uh, as it could be on the old moves, movements. Hopefully I won't work up as much of a sweat. I don't want to get my Duke Nukem Forever t-shirt drenched in sweat. Oh, oh, I didn't max my arms. Okay, here we go, look. So this game, I believe, is kind of roguelite-ish. Do I want cash or do I want a stun? I don't want cash. They're brushing their teeth in the rain. It's kind of cool. The jungle is full of ways to spend cash and get stronger. Buy, hustle, steal. Do what you need. You've got three moves. Make your choices count. What does this mean? Buy shit or repair my mech. How much have I got? I've got 1,550 whatever the currency is. So let's buy myself a better cockpit. Yeah, I did a little bit of shopping, a little bit of repairing. Now it's time to do a little bit of fighting. The fighting pit runs on patrons. Each offers a challenge for a reward. Choose who you want to get cozy with. Mm. So do I want to get cozy with Busy? 
who will, allow me, who will challenge me to fight in the dark, but I'll get tanking and HP gear. Or do I want to get cosy with Zakita? Enemies explode on death. I get locomotion physical gear. Uh, well, to be honest, I think Zakita is probably more my type. So let's go for her. This is the garage equipped with shit. So my hardened cockpit I can upgrade. That's what I bought earlier from the shop. Okay, time to fight. I have to hold on to these until it calibrates, and then we're locked in. I can then let go of the grip buttons, and I'm ready to smash my balls together. Ooh, that's scary. So I guess I can knock enemies into that. Yeah, let's find out, shall we? We've got one enemy at, at the moment. Ooh. Oh, there's some more. Knocked him out the air. Okay, watch that explosion. Oh yeah, that knocked the pouncing one out of the air. That was cool. Oh God, I'm taking, I am taking some damage. Yeah, all right, come on, calm down. I'm new. Okay, that's another one exploding. Bang, get over there. I don't know if these things do anything. Oh, there it's, oh, that's cool. Little physical rocket barrels. Quite a big reach on these arms, which is good. Oh, sheep. The explosions don't seem to be that aggressive. But honestly, like, the... The tracking and everything is working great. I'm playing this Quest 3 plugged in to my PC. Which means I'm playing the PC version rather than the native Quest version. So I'll have uh, slightly better graphics, I'm sure. Boom. Wow. I took a lot of damage there, but I made it. Wait, you fuck off. Wait, what? Oh, shit. I thought I'd won. Teasing me. Wait, what the hell? Oh, God. These are like exploding bots. I'm going to swap them out of the way before they pop. Okay. More Splodo bots and another one of these big dogs. Okay. Oh, nice. Good chain reaction there. Hopefully that got caught in the camera. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Too close. Oh, that's too close to that explosion. This little doggy. Down, boy. Yes! Okay, Zakita. I completed your challenge. Just very low on health at the end there. I'm gonna go for a rammer. Rammer? I barely know her. Time to get some repairs, I think. Some bro was begging us to give him our slot at Busy's. Said he was give us a piece from his shop. Well, Probably normally I'd refuse, but seeing as I'm playing this for a bit of a first impressions piece to show you lot what this game is capable of, I'm going to accept this deal. Okay, I got an accelerant. When making large swings, arm gets one times turbo. I mean, I don't know what that means, but we're taking it. So I could buy some stuff in the shop. I'm going to go looking for trouble again, just to see what this is all about. It's like you ever heard us before I had some misfortune while he was waiting. Oh, someone's got murdered. There's a piece of hardware lying by him. Search further. Okay, I'll roll. I'll do it. Oh, we got another accelerant. Take and leave. There we go. That worked out well. Now, I hope there's a... Re Damn it. I, hope there was, I was hoping there'd be a repair option. But there isn't. Okay, well, we'll try Busy's challenge this time. Look at that. I am absolutely screwed there. Can I fix? Oh, there you go. So I've used that to fix my cockpit slightly. This accelerant can go on this arm. This accelerant can go on this arm. Health-wise, not doing great, but I do have a few upgrades now to help me in this next fight. The lights are off now. It's pretty murky. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully you lot viewing can see. Oh, there's a one of my power-ups, I think. 
going into action with that lightning. Oh, that took damage there. It's pretty dark, but I can just about see, especially when they start launching themselves like that at me. Just swatting them away like big metallic flies at the moment. Oh! They got, oh, wait, oh no. I thought I was dead dead. They've just smashed my cockpit. So I guess that robot could jump in and munch my face off now. Did I do it? The light's on for a second. No. I just wail it. I could just punch super hard. Just real quick flurries. I think that's what I'm missing. It's speed of my attacks. The faster you hit, the less opportunity they have to hit back, I guess. Come here, toidle dog. Oh, yeah, he went flying. Oh, shit. So I skidded right past him then. Bang. Oh, you dead. Well, on the plus side, I unlocked a few new items. Rumble crackers, leech, plow basher. So these are all the things I'll uh, be able to use on my next run, or at least potentially be able to un uh, use or buy or find on my next run. And I got a new patron, Aramisa, ravaged by a junk dog. Head was never recovered. Brutal. All right, let's try a new run. Okay, back to basics, back to baby steps. Back to the arena. I sure will. Clong, clong, clong. All right, we got some lights on at least. All right, here we go. Come to my balls, robots. Yeah, see you later. Put him up. Put him up, put him up, put him up. Put him up. Stunned them there as well. Nice, good bit of stunning. Three doors coming now. And big hit. Ah, oh, nice backhand there. <laughs> yeah. Because these arms match your real life movements so well, it really is very satisfying hitting these mechs. You sneaking up behind me, douche dog. There you go. He's in bits now. Smack them into each other. Let's give him another backhand. The ultimate in disrespect. Wah. Took a bit of damage on my cockpit there. Cash or fingers. Grabs. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'm going to choose the fingers just because that sounds kind of cool. Okay. Fix. Oh, it didn't give me everything. Oh, I can keep fixing if I want. There you go. Okay, available repairs three. So that one needs a bit of a fix. I think we're all good there. Shop or go looking for trouble. I always like looking for trouble. Oh, I found the kind of trouble I like by the looks of things. An item for cash. A double for nothing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice the rumble crackers, I think. What am I going to get? Roll yellow, green, or red? What's your colour? Green is my colour, baby! Yes! 1,600? Not bad. I've always been terrible at gambling. Play some of the junk dogs with my bloodhounds. Or enemies explode on death. Well, I've done that one. So let's see what Aramis has got in store for us. Let's have the right one for a grabber. 
And we'll equip that on it as well. Fight! I grab you. How do oh, that's grab. Ha! I just fucked him out of the air and punched the crap out of him. Oh, nice! And I threw his body into this dickhead. whoop Oh, I think I might have taken out some of the crowd then. Okay, this grab's cool. You. Oh. I'm applauding my own hard work. Right. Smashing into this guy. Well done, me. Woo! Snippy, snippy. Bye. They're all like, nah, 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 nah. Grab. Says I gotta keep moving, but. I'm doing pretty well, stood still, just plucking things out of the air. Come on, then. Come on, then. Boing! Ha ha ha! Uh oh. Too many of them! Oh, he's stuck! Ah! Oh, that little explosive one got stuck on the big one. Nice. Yo, awesome! Suddenly you fight wreck the kill box tonight. Yeah, I love to wreck the kill box. Okay, something tells me he might be a, a boss character for the first season. Very pointy head. Oh. I guess I'm not just going to be up against robot dogs for much longer then. I'm going to be up against other mechs soon. Five decoys for tonight. First one free. You had me at free. The girl at Aramesa smiled pretty when we stepped in. Place looked like a hardware brothel. Oh. She's offering some decoys. An explosive decoy or a normal decoy. Why would I not pick explosive? Steal something? I don't feel right about stealing something. But I'm doing it anyway, for the video, for the content. Oh, damn it. We got caught. Balls. Sorry. It was for science. Okay, bloodhounds or turbo enemies from Mrs. Scop. Sure. <laughs> a little bit of an explosion to start things off with. Oh, there's a. Oh. Go get that. They're after the decoy. Is it going to explode? I don't want to. What? Oh god. Okay, the turbo's the blue one, huh? Bang. I do like picking up the enemies and then using them as like a, a melee weapon. Oh, right into the spinny blades. Fuck! Nice. Up in the air! There we go. Wow, what a magnificent toss. I won't punch it, I'll just smash it onto the ground. And then maybe put it in that. Yeah! Woo! Come on then. I'm just feed into this thing. Ow, ooh. Hit my arm on that. Maybe if I drop him on. There we go. Time to go into the sky. Tossed him all the way over there onto the fuck spikes. Yeah. Oh my god, my right arm. That's my favourite one. That's what I do on my what? I mean, that's what I do on my writing with. Sit. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Don't mess with the best. 
fun. Let's hit him with this. Yeah, nice finish. A bunch of punk ass bratters blocked my way. Oh, that's the guy that was silhouetted earlier. It's the Killbox Champion. Soon to be my title, I'm sure. Ah, Zakita, still angry with me, I see. That's what I get for thiefing. Back to Mrs. Scott's challenge of Turbo Dogs. All right, time to do some more fighting. Oh, taking damage already, huh? There's a lot of turbo beasts coming out of me at the end now. I think I just grabbed hold of my own arm there. Peace off. Into that, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Cockpit strength's looking good so far. Left arm, not so good. Whoa. What the hell is this? Alphas? Uh, well, let's throw him into that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, back in there. Back in there, buddy. That's it. Ah. Oh, I made literal mincemeat of that one. Into the grinder, sir. Yes. Making some good sausages out of those things. Wah! Oh, both in. All right, mate, what are you, what are you saying? You want to go in the grinder too? Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Uh, that little explodey one got stuck to this thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, that. That's bite Matt. That one bites back. Let's see. Ah, it's I need my right arm most, I think, just for the grabbing attacks. But yeah, you stay in there, dude. Yeah. Holy moly. That was scruffy, but we made it. Hey, look. I've made it to the uh, the champ. Let's see how I do against another brawler. Right, I'm putting the bomber on. Okay, so I got my new smasher. And I got my little grabber. I've been in a grinder already. Okay, looks like Usam or whatever his name is isn't. Coming out just yet. He's harder to throw that big one. A bit more weight behind him. Let's get you into the grinder, buddy. Go on, in you go. Yep, that's it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go in it. In you go. And you, in you go. I'll just punch my green screen. Because at least I know where I'm facing now. <laughs> Ouch. Oi. Okay, I stuck a bomb to that thing. Nice. Listen, lad. You get, get stuffed. Ouch. Ah. In the grinder. There you go. Where's Usam? I don't want to die before he pops up. But my left arm is pretty crippled. I got one hit left on my left arm, and then that's game over. Oh. Slow mo. Oh, the grind is gone. I stuck these to the spike, look at that. There you go, we're going to have some more spike. 
stick him on the spike. Maybe. Oh, Christ, what the hell? Okay, is my left arm gone? Stick to the wall, turtle. And smack his ass. <laughs> Bad toidle. Yep. Cockpit's been pretty damaged as well. Where's the champ? Oh no! Oh Christ! Ah! Oh, and I oh yeah, I'm dead. There we go. As soon as my left arm went, that was it. Goners. Well, there you go, my friends. That was a look at Underdogs, which is out this week on PC VR and MetaQuest 2 and 3. It's a lot of fun smashing robots with your hands and your arms. Feels great, really responsive, works really nicely. The speed and the fluidity of the combat just feels perfect for VR. Smacking the enemies together is nice and chunky and clunky and it's nice bashes and crashes i like the grab arm so i can hammer enemies into each other and i like being able to use parts of the arena to also destroy enemies it makes it a little bit more tactical um downsides graphically a little bit beige a little bit boring even though it's kind of comic book stylized i don't know it's just nothing about the visuals really fills me with any excitement also the variety of the enemies very lackluster i think during that time uh, that I played it there was what two or three enemy types and they just changed slightly with some like turbo effects and things I would have preferred to have gone on some big boxing matches like made it like super punch out with loads of different robots and to just continually fight and swat these little robots but maybe that kind of stuff comes up later you've just got to go through the you know the road like steps in order to build up to a boss fight so uh yeah you know i would have yeah i would have preferred it to be a bit more of a robot boxing game rather than a, a wave based beat em off game <laughs> but you know it's pretty decent if you're looking for a bit more of a physical vr game one that you can play stood up or sat down as i've discovered then this one yeah this one is uh yeah it's pretty decent so yeah that was underdogs this was ian's vr corner Thank you very much for watching. Do like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games and Ian's VR Corner episodes every Sunday. And I'll see you next Sunday for more virtual reality shenanigans. Now, go and click on one of these other videos that are on screen right now. They're all VR based. While I go and get into a fight with some idiots. And I go and smack some more robots in the tits. Robots have tits. How would you milk a robot? I don't know. I'll give it a go though.